There he is. Not the big one I'm looking for, but got him free lining a sucker. <laughs> Roger's pretty excited. <laughs> Sorry about that if that was loud. Rod twanged into my camera there. I know there's one in here that's got to be like close to low 20s, if not low 20s. I saw him the other day. That's like a 15, 16 incher. Just free lining on an octopus hook, a sucker tail hooked. Sweet. Drifting through that bank run. There we go. That's something on a mad tom. I didn't even notice he picked it up there. That's a better one, maybe. That's a decent one. He's at least the size of the last one, I think. Still just using a free line. I'm just drifting it through the, the bank run real slow. Looking for that big one I found the other day. I saw the other day I was buzz bait fishing here. I, I had a 14 inch on, I measured him. And there was one following it that was about 16 inches couple inches longer and there's one following that that was just way longer than the 16 like amazing bass this guy seems pretty good though so, might be a big one this looks like a nice one might be 18 plus I don't know I'll take it easy on him here the lines clipping all over the rocks and junk so, oh yeah it's a nice bass quality bass Probably not quite a big one, but he's kind of thick, fat. Probably 17 or so. Get a measurement on him quick. And that probably margin mad tom. They're on an octopus hook. That's perfect. There's another bass. Got poured on for a while. Now I just threw a five or six inch sucker out. Doesn't have the sucker in his mouth, but he has the hook in his mouth. That's all I need. <laughs> kind of slow, but water's low and these places are getting a lot of pressure. And Roger just came through also hitting it with a buzz bait. He got one nice one, just under 18. That last one was, uh, I measured it, it was 17 and a quarter. This guy looks chunky but short. A little too short for a 5 inch sucker, but they do get greedy like that. Flung my bait back in the water. Loving this octopus hook, hooked all of them right on the edge of the lip there. Chunky short guy. I'm just catching or releasing all of them, but that's another legal one for sure. 13, 14 inches. Maybe 13, 13 and a half. Drifting a mad time again. I think I just got a hit. Something's running with it. Something small. Feels like. Another bass, maybe? It's gonna keep raining. It's a big storm on me. It's gonna rain late and rain hard and on and off all, all night and tomorrow. That's another small mess. Now, all these guys on that same octopus hook is probably like a number one or number two ish in that ballpark. It's attached to the main line what I usually call a free line. Very little resistance, just drift in the bank, or drift in the, this bank pool. This Mad Tom threw, I got hooked in the tail. Mad Toms are a killer bait for, for bass. Yeah, they're all quality bass, I mean they're all, all legal easily. Third one, it's been about 15 plus, this one's pretty easy, 14 and a half, 15 ish. Trying to get a hook in them here. <laughs> Third time's a charm, hopefully. Stuck on something. Yep, there he is. Got him this time. Sweet. I guess it's either a fall fish or a bass. Fall fish are usually pretty aggressive though, so I don't know. Maybe a bass? 
They, they get picky and bite the heads off crayfish a lot. They'll hit soft shell crayfish better. That looks like a smallie. Quality smallie. Yep. Definitely another legal one. You know, if, was, if I was in some sort of twisted bait fishing competition, had a boat and a live well, I'd be culling fish after this fish. This is a, a limit's worth, I'm just letting them all go, but limit's worth a bass. That last one I hooked a little deep, but all these other hooks have been great. Right on the edge of the mouth. That's why I figured chunky 14 and a half or so. Roughly. Let's see if he's there. Yep. Finally got him. I lost to that one, but I won with this one. <laughs> All right. Doesn't feel very big. That maybe he's a fallfish. That's probably why he's a fallfish. It's being weird. It's a little fallfish. They're probably just having a hard time eating it because they're small fallfish. Some places, if you go, this is a big fall fish but around here I've caught so many of these I think 12 or so that have been longer than the state and world record just not heavy enough by a little bit this is <laughs> as much a trophy fall fish river as uh, the red river is a trophy catfish river channel cats I see so many around here that are 19 to 21 this one's like a 15 16 it's just picking it up playing with it and dropping it he doesn't like it just a baby crayfish. Those are usually better than the big ones, but smaller profile baits, so it's harder for them to see. I got him. He's just a little guy. Another little fallfish, I think. I keep, <laughs> these things keep playing with me like crazy. Woo! I'm going to off here. 13, 13 and a half inch crawfish. Cool. Got something tiny on. It felt tiny at first at least. A couple of fish here and there. Another fallfish, wow. <laughs> I'm getting smaller. It's like a 12 inch maybe, roughly. Yeah. Ballpark 12. 11 and a half, 12. Didn't even feel this guy on for a moment. Feels better than the last fish. First one to take drag. Yeah, that's a nice fall fish. There we go the quality crawfish. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty big one. Oh baby. Oh yeah, there's a nice fall fish. I haven't caught one like that in at least a month or so, probably. It's a solid 19-ish. Close if not same length as a state record. Definitely not heavy enough though. I've caught them Significantly longer than this with eggs and still not had them heavy enough. You know, two inches longer in the state record with eggs. It's crazy. But that's a nice quality fall fish for sure.